What's going on YouTube? GSN right here. So in today's video I have great news for those of you waiting for a jailbreak on iOS 15. So a brand new kernel exploit has been achieved. Now Justin Sherman, a security researcher, has posted just a couple of hours ago, quote, 15.2. Bad success rate due to recent mitigations though. So they posted a picture here and this picture actually tells a thousand words. You can see in this picture basically an output from their exploit, probably in Xcode, and it shows the kernel version string for the iOS. 15.2 which does check out and by the way iOS 15.2 is currently the latest version available and signed so this is indeed pretty massive and then they show basically their setup for the exploit you know building the early primitives and getting the task struct address and stuff like that process struct address credentials and whatever those are part of the exploit itself then they are able to calculate the kernel slide once you're able to calculate the kernel slide with your exploit it means that you broke the KASL or kernel address space layout randomization which is one of Apple's security features if you break that it means that you know where functions are at which address they can be found if you know at which address they can be found you can modify them later on and while the code the functions themselves are actually protected now by KPP and KTRR and stuff like that because it's the static code that never changes the variables are not and thus you can basically modify your credentials because those are are variables and you can get root and apply various other patches to create a full jailbreak. So once you broke KSLR, it's basically game over at that point. It's just a small step in order to do you know, proper patches for a jailbreak. Then they get the kernel base in here. Now the kernel base is important, but not right now, not for jailbreak purposes at this point. It's just for demonstration here. But then they say build full kernel read and write primitives. At that point, you do have full control over the kernel. Once you're able to write and read the arbitrary addresses on the kernel, it means you can apply patches to the sandbox, to the root, to credentials and stuff like that so you can make the kernel do what you want and basically build a jailbreak and then they perform a couple of dumps to the kernel memory and that indeed correct they dump the kernel the regions of the uh, Mac or binary and stuff like that so everything looks okay there now can this be used for uncover of course it definitely can the only problem I can see here for jailbreak purposes would be the bad success rate because of the recent mitigations now that doesn't mean it wouldn't work for a jailbreak it means that your jailbreak will probably take a couple of tries before it would start jailbreaking. We had this in the past with the VFS exploit and many others by Ian Beer. Not every single exploit in the history was a perfectly stable one. We have bad exploits in the past, we we'll learn to live with it. So this can indeed be used for Uncover and history shows that the Uncover team usually works with the security researchers like Justin Sherman and you know Pattern F and stuff like that in the background before they even release those exploits to the public. For example the exploit that is currently used in the 14.8 jailbreak that was released a couple of weeks ago by Uncover out of the blue, this exploit is not even public yet. Pattern F is credited for the exploit, but Pattern F did not release this publicly. They gave it privately to Uncover. So it's possible that this would happen again with Justin Sherman's exploit once iOS 15.2 is no longer signed. Right now, this exploit is zero day. Now, they mention a lot of mitigations, and that is correct. iOS 15.2 is packed with a lot of patches for various vulnerabilities and thus make making things a little bit harder to exploit, but not impossible as you can see from here. So yeah, I would definitely advise you to stay as low as possible on iOS 15. Do not update the 15.2, it's a bad idea. Even though this works on 15.2, it's always the best to stay as low as possible because you never know what other issue is in there. And if you're on 14.8 or 14.3 or 14.4 or 14.6 or any other 14 version, for God's sake, do not update the 15. I've had this issue in the past with people not understanding what I'm telling them to not update. They kept on updating and once a jailbreak was released, they blamed me for not telling them not to update, which of course I always say do not update, but some people would never learn. So yeah, definitely do not update the 15.2, even if this supports 15.2. But yeah, new kernel exploit, good for jailbreaking. And of course, if history is anything to go by, Uncover will probably put their hands on this before it gets released to the public, which is definitely great. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, till the next time, subscribe and stay updated and peace out.